Happy Valley. Oh, boy. How are we going to find a tiny flower and all that? Miguel, can I borrow your dinoculars? Sure, but they're not powerful enough to see those little flowers from up here. I'm not looking for flowers. I'm looking for copies. Huh? Ma said the copies love eating the moon lilies. So, if we find some copies, and they'll lead us to the lilies. There! I just saw some copies down in that valley. Come on, Dino Ranchers. Let's get those moon lilies before the copies do. Yeah! yeah Too close for comfort. Yup, it sure is. Can you haul us up, Tango? <laughs> Phew, no compies and no moon lilies either. Nothing could grow here. <sighs> I was sure I saw compies. This is harder than I thought. We better get moving. It'll be dark soon. If it's hard to find the moon lilies now, it'll be impossible to find them at night. We'll find them. We have to. Ma and that poor Mama Bronto are counting on us. Ah, there's the owl again. What if it's a spookosaurus prowling the plains like in Pa's story? There's no such thing as a spookosaurus. Pa said so. But he also said, or is it? If that is the Spookosaurus, then the Stango's running towards it! That's strange. I've never seen a river that looks like this before. But it's just like Pa's story. A river with a sickly green glow. <laughs> yeah, and the howl's getting closer. Uh... You might be right, Miguel. Come on, guys. Look, it's just the gems glowing in the moonlight. No need to worry. Hmm, you're right, John. Uh, I guess so. Come on, we gotta catch up to that stego. See? A forest of fire-filled trees. Just like Pa said, we're heading right towards the Spookosaurus. We, uh, can't stop now. That Stengo needs us. You're right. Let's go. This is all a mighty big coincidence, though. Spooky-looking cave. What do we do, John? <sighs> Spooky cave or not, we're Dino Ranchers, and that Stego needs our help. We're going in. <coughs> Suffering Saddlehorn. Teddy's keeping everyone awake. The roost must still be missing something. I'll fix the problem with Teddy and two shakes of pterosaur's tail. All right, but we won't get a wink of sleep if we don't calm down all the other dinosaurs.
didn't sleep a wink last night. I don't think anyone did. <sighs> For a tiny pterodactyl, <gasps> Teddy sure has a big voice. I did everything I could think of to make Teddy's roost feel like a place he'd be happy. And he still wouldn't stop calling. Tired or not, we've still got all that hay to bail up. So let's saddle up! is one big brontosaurus. What's he doing? He can't sleep there. We have apples to pick. Hello there, and how are you on this fine day? We need to pick the apples off this tree, so... Could you please move so we can finish in time to get these apples back to Monster Chicken Bake us the tastiest pie this side of Donorado? Pretty please? Based on my dino diagnosis, here's what we know. He loves apples, and he's not gonna move. Yeah, but what about the pie? I know. If he won't move out of our way, we'll just have to find a way to pick the apples with him in our way. Great idea, Miguel. Let's do this. All right, Miguel, tell me your plan. Okay. We know that Brontos love apples, so as long as the Brontosaur doesn't mind us picking them, he can have all the apples he wants. See, he likes the idea. Gentlemen, start picking. It's given me another idea. To move the brontosaur? No, for a wild new carnival ride. The scary spinner. 